Hi, welcome to the Culinary Classroom. I'm Michelle Gisby, Culinary Specialist with the Child Nutrition Programs. Here in the Culinary Classroom, we provide hands-on and virtual training opportunities for child nutrition staff everywhere. We hope you enjoy this video to follow and let us know if you utilize any of our recipes in your kitchens. Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a breakfast egg and cheese pinwheel. Um, you can call it a breakfast roll-up or anything you'd like. It is super simple. You use pizza dough, any cheese blend that you would like. I have, it's a blend of cheddar and mozzarella, I think there's a couple other in there, and scrambled eggs. And it is super simple. So you want to take your pizza dough, and we're going to lightly flour our surface here. And we're just going to roll it out into a rectangle. Keep in mind, the more you work it, the more elasticity, elasticity it's going to build up. So it might get a little bit harder to roll out, but just be patient and your dough will get there. All right, so now that we've got our dough rolled out into a nice rectangle, trying to keep the corners as even as possible so that we don't lose it on the, the edges when we roll it up, we're going to take our cheese blend and we're just going to spread it out over the dough. You want to make sure you leave a gap on the edges so that when you get to the end, you can seal it up. That way, all the delicious things on the inside stay inside. All right, so now I'm going to take the scrambled eggs that I've cooked off. I'm trying to make sure they're kind of little broken up a little bit so they spread out evenly. And we just spread those right on top of the cheese here. All right, we want to try to get it right to the edge of the sides, though, so that each little pinwheel has about the same amount of filling in them. Um, this helps to ensure that every serving credits about the same. So now you just roll it up like it's a cinnamon roll. And I'm going to start from the edge away from me. Just I don't know why. It's the way I like to do it. And obviously, you want to work gently so that you don't end up ripping um, your dough. All right. And when you are just about to the edge, you will want to pause for just a second and take some water and just brush it right on the edge of the dough. This will help seal it up so that everything stays inside. And then just kind of, you know, give it a little press right on the edge to help ensure that it seals up. All right, so once you have that rolled up, you're gonna wanna transfer this to a cutting board. And this will serve, I'll make about eight servings with one um, dough ball. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut it in half and then cut each half into four. So half and then half again. Now after you cut these, um, you can either lay them out on a sheet pan or you can actually use a muffin pan and place each individual one in its own little cup. 
I'm going to go ahead and use a sheet pan today, but it is completely up to you um, and what works best in your kitchen. So I have just a parchment lined sheet pan here. I'm very gently set these each down and try trying to keep as much of that filling in there as possible. Now we're going to go ahead and bake these in a 350 degree oven until they're golden brown. Once your breakfast rolls have become nice and golden brown and beautiful, go ahead and remove them from the oven. These are a wonderful treat at breakfast. Nice, fresh, good, and full of protein. And if you accompany them with some salsa, it can be a complete breakfast. So I hope you give these a try and let your kids enjoy this wonderful hot treat.